I'm Trey Leatherwood with Computer Clarity, and we're bringing you this series of short training videos teaching you how to use your computer better, covering Windows, Word, Excel, Outlook, security software, and many other applications. We appreciate you watching this video and truly hope that it helps. Look for our other videos on YouTube, Facebook, or on our website at www.computerclarity.com. In this video, I will demonstrate how to change display settings in Windows Vista. Now to start with, you can get to Windows Display Settings through the control panel, but the easiest way to do it is to right click on your desktop, anywhere that's not an icon, and click on Personalize. This will bring you to a window where you can personalize the appearance and sounds. In this window, you have several options. We can personalize the window's color and appearance, change the desktop background, change the screensaver, change sounds, change the mouse pointers, the theme, display settings, change icons on the desktop, you can adjust the font DPI, and you can connect to a projector or other external display. If you go to the Windows color and appearance, this is going to take you to a screen where you can change the overall colors that Windows uses throughout Windows. For instance, the color at the top of, the pa of, of each window. Enable transparency makes it so you can see the, the icon behind your window just vaguely. You can change the color intensity, and you can also open classic appearance pr properties for more color options. On desktop background, you can change the image that appears in the, on, the, on your actual desktop. You can make it a solid color, as I have, or you can change it to Windows wallpapers. Windows has several wallpapers that are available to you. You can also change it to pull pictures from your pictures folder or from the sample pictures that are already in Windows. In the screensaver section, you can change what screensaver you're using or if you're even using a screensaver, how long it'll wait for that screensaver to become active, if you uh, want to display the logon screen requiring a password uh, after it's become active, you can change the settings for each screensaver. And this window is different for each individual screensaver depending on how it's designed. Under sounds, this changes the sounds that happen during different events when something happens inside Windows. So, for instance, if you put highlight any of these that you can play the test sound to see what that sound would would sound like. Under mouse pointers you can change the cursor that your mouse is using. You can change the overall theme and that changes the look of all of your cursors. And then depending on what kind of mouse you have, what kind of mouse driver it's using, you may have other options for pointers giving you different speeds, different visibility options, allowing it to, uh, for when you hit the control button, it creates circles so you can more easily find your mouse. Under theme, you can change the overall appearance of Windows to a theme that is already made, like the classic theme, make it look like Windows 98 used to, or you can make it a modified theme. Under display settings, this is where you would tell your computer or if you had one or two monitors and their position related to each other, what the resolution on each monitor is, which will change how clear or distorted the monitor appears, and of course how many colors they're using. If you change the desktop icons, this allows you to put the standard Windows icons on your desktop or take them off, depending on if you have a, a check in that box or not. And it also allows you to change the appearance of that icon. So if you didn't like that icon, you wanted to use a different one, now it would use that for the computer icon as opposed to what it used to have. Adjusting the font size of the DPI is useful if you want to maintain a clear monitor, but you want to make the, the fonts, the individual letters, appear larger than they would normally with using that, that current screen resolution and then connecting to a projector or other external display is if you're using two, one or more monitors or 
as a, it says, a projector. This would allow you to control how the signal is sent to the projector and what kind of image is then projected up on the screen. And these are quickly just some of the display settings that you can change and the different ways that you can change the appearance and the sounds of your computer. Thank you for watching our video instructional series. I'm Trey Leatherwood with Computer Clarity. If you have any questions about this video or any other computer issues, please go to our website at www.computerclarity.com or call us at 877-434-8822.